Welcome to Anissa's Unfiltered Creations. I've put together um, a new kit. Um, three sheep. And we have some here. You can make them with legs, without legs. There we go. Um, I've done them. Um, a herdy one has got herbic wool in there. Uh, a curly one because we've got some nice curly locks in there and a fleecy one I think this must be a crossbreed I'm not quite sure which one that is so uh, and they'll come out around about this size um, this this particular sheep design I did uh, years ago and I've been meaning to put together a kit for some time to do to do these sheep. Finally got round to it at the moment we find ourselves with a, a bit more time uh, to get round to all these jobs. So the kit. Um, just bagging them up at the moment uh, so it comes with um, as I say three different type sheep that you can make there and it's up to you whether you you want to add the legs or make it super simple and just have a um, the uh, lying down sheep. So that's the whole supply pack. So if you've already you already do your needle felting, you'll be equipped with your your felting pad and um, and your needles. If not, um, very basic uh, felting pad and the pack of needles with the various sizes. Um, which I use in the, the video, uh, the demonstration video. Uh, those are available in my Etsy shop along with this kit of course. So um, we'll shortly move on to how we make uh, the sheep. Recently I put up my um, little duck, my mallard that I've been working on. Um, with the idea of it becoming um, one of my workshops, one of my future workshops. And um, yeah, it seems to be, um, I've got the thumbs up, so I think this is going to be a future workshop. So, and here he is, this is the size um, that um, our little duck's going to be. And just place him on there. So and introduced uh, our new our new felty right so on with them um, uh, the instructions so when um, i'll move the camera down onto the table and we'll make these little one of these little um sheep oh, grab them all okay here we go here we have the measured piece for the body. So what we want to do is make this. Um, it's lovely and firm. A nice solid piece to start working from. Um, so. Stick out of the way. There we go. Right, sorted. So what we want to do is um, start by rolling up. Do this for um, my other kits as well. Some of my other kits. It's just a basic um, base, really, for a lot of um, felting projects. So I really want to make that nice and tight. But we don't want a big long sausage, so we're going to stretch and pull in the sides as well. And of course, I haven't told you the type of um, wool batting I'm using, which is Cheviot. And I, I've been using this for quite a lot of years now, and it's, it's a nice um, lofty wool. It's great for. Um, building up 
um, any of your 3D sculptures. So just all the time I'm just rolling, keeping it nice and tight, pushing in the sides so we don't have that long sausage, we want a, a big fat sausage. So, oh, moving, I'm trying to keep in camera. <laughs> So just keep rolling and of course the friction of the, the pad helps to keep it in place as well. So, there we go. Now then I'm going to use my um, single needle and it's um, yeah, 36, I can feel there's more resistance. I also have my 38 and this one is the 36 which is a, a stronger needle it's a triangle and I'm digging in quite deep reason the reason is I want it to felt right through need to keep turning it as well so that um, we keep the shape I'm going to turn over onto this side making sure we keep keep it moving So um, I'm working on my wool felt pad on the white side um, I also have the darker side for when I'm working with the dark wools. So the next thing we want to do is make a head. So if I can show you one without a fleece, you'll see where we're going. So the body, I'm going to make the head. And, and then if you want to add legs, we're going to add legs. So we'll do the head next. So we want to build up um, something to work on first. There's a couple of methods that you could use. I'm going to use this knot method which starts building up. I'm going to make it into this. You can see on there. So we start by tying a knot in one of your roughly measured um, wool batting that you'll find in your supply pack. So all we're going to do is just tie a knot, easy peasy. Okay, nice and tight. Just too close to the knot so you don't break your wool. And then we'll do that again. We'll make a bit more A bigger lump to work on, a bigger knot. Right, so I think we'll go with that. So that's nice and firm. So what we want to do is take one of these ends and wrap around. If I just pull that piece to the back, because I can see this could be my head shape so if I just wrap around nice and tight and what I'm doing is um, I'm stretching out the wool um, but if I keep my fingers quite 
close if I pull at the, hen at the end of the wool it, it, it's just going to break away so if I keep my fingers quite close together as I wrap then it won't break for me hopefully <laughs> and I'm going to stretch the wool a little just to get rid of that bulkiness and wrap around keeping it nice and tight and then I'm just going to stab that down. I'm still we nearly instantly have a head. So with this piece here I'll stretch it out a little just give it a gentle tug and then Let's just take it this way this time. We've done we've wrapped it round this way, so let's just give it a bit of width and tidy that end up. Keeping it nice and tight again, I'm going to stab that down. And you can compare it against your um, body. For size. Okay, this doesn't want to be any bigger. Okay, if you don't, if you if you've run out of your, your wool, all we would need to do is grab some more of the the fibre, pop it on, because whenever we're attaching any um parts we need some of this loose fibre to hold it in place so I could use a bit of both. Now positioning the head I think about there. So pressing the two together and back to my strong needle, my 36 Pushing down on the head towards the body and attaching.